Real quick on this 2017 Jeep. It's running, been running for three, coming on, heading towards three minutes. It took it, uh, almost a minute for my, to boot up, but it's cycling right now. You can hear the clutch kicking off and on. You can see the pressure cycling off and on. If you look at the temperature, let's get over here to the temperature. You can see the little up and down of the temperature because the clutch is cycling right now because I have the windows closed. I have it in recycle mode. And if we come back to our temperatures, it doesn't like my second glove. Hold on a minute, throw down the camera. And let's get there. Now I could go. So there's the temperature right now. And I have it in recycle mode. So let's look at what happens. And that's the air temperature right here. So let's take this off. I think it's the air temperature or is it taken from this one? I don't know. But the air temperature on this one is actually to pull into the inside. We'll read from right there. And let me put it on outside air and let's take a look at our cycling time. And where's our cycling time? Right there. For those of you who don't know, we'll put this information. Let's get it out of recycle mode. And you should start seeing a uh, difference here in the pressures because this is on the pressure screen. You see how the pressure is going up right there? Because we're putting a heat load because it's sucking in not only the 77 degree air from here, it's going through the heat of the condenser, it's picking up some temperature on the air. It's going through the radiator, it's picking up some temperature. It's going over the hot engine, the exhaust manifold, and this air is coming up and it's being sucked around right down in here and you will let's see you should be able to see that temperature difference right there 85 degrees so the air is a mix of the cold air being brought down here and the warm air up here this air i could tell you is like 114 degrees or so by the time it hits here because it's mixed with the atmosphere but when this cold air and this warm air mix we're having an 87 degree air but when it's out here it's 77 degrees so now we're loading the system and if you look at the dash temperature coming out of the dash, we went up, we're no longer cycling. You see the cycling of the clutch? We're no longer, now we're at 50 degrees. And if we look back at our pressures, we're back up at 171. You see how it's still gradually going steadily up. And so is our temperature. That is the difference between recycle and fresh air mode. And you have to notice when you have a hood up, and it's 90 degrees or 110 degrees and you're in a desert somewhere or somewhere really, really hot and you put it on fresh air mode, but you have the hood up, you're also taking, and now you'll have like 200 degree air, 160 degree air being taken over into your evaporator. It was never designed and you'll get some really crazy pressures. And if you're trying to be one of those guys who do the whack off, jack off, uh, little shake your can things, and you're trying to achieve some certain pressure, but you're feeding it, you know, 160 degree air across the evaporator, you, you might as well be pissing in the wind. And especially if you have a variable displacement compressor. All right, hope you enjoyed this guys. See you guys later.